Hello everyone, I'm Sarita Varma and welcome to my channel Electronic Simplified. Today, in this video, we will discuss about half-wave rectifier. The contents of objectives, rectifier, the need of rectifier, the different types of rectifier, operation of half-wave rectifier, rectifier efficiency, ripple factor, disadvantages of half-wave rectifier, applications. This video has been developed with the objective that after watching this video, the learner should be able to understand why a rectifier is needed. Define a rectifier, describe the operation, draw its circuit, draw waveforms of half-wave rectifier, calculate the efficiency and ripple factor, and list the disadvantages and applications. Every electronic appliance operates on DC. Electrical outlets in our homes provide AC. Hence, there is a need of a circuit which can convert AC to DC. Hence, the need of a rectifier. Rectifier is the basic building block of a DC power supply. How will we define a rectifier? A rectifier is a circuit which converts AC voltage into DC voltage. There are basically two types of rectifier circuits. Half-wave rectifier and full wave. Full wave again, we have central tap and bridge rectifier. To understand the operation of a half-wave rectifier, first we should understand the construction of a half-wave rectifier. So this is the circuit diagram of a half-wave rectifier. It consists of a transformer, a diode and a load resistance arc. So you have your AC supply, which is to be rectified, which is to be converted from AC to DC. So the AC supply will be applied across the primary of the transformer. The AC voltage, so it appears across the secondary of the transformer at the terminals A and B and changes its polarity after every half cycle. Here is the AC supply. After every half cycle, it is changing its polarity. During the positive half cycle, that is this cycle, NA becomes positive and B becomes negative. Result is your diode is forward biased. It will act like a short and it will allow current to flow through it and through the load resistance RL. So at the output you will, the, whatever is the input voltage, same will appear across the output. During the negative half cycle, ND is negative and NB is positive. So the result is your diode will be reverse biased. It will act like an open and no current will flow through the low resistance RL. So the output, at the output there will be zero voltage as well as zero current flowing through the low resistance RL. In this way, current flows through the low resistance RL only in one direction. Hence you can see the output waveform. This is the input waveform for your half wave rectifier and this is the output waveform. This is the output voltage waveform and this is the current waveform. So for one cycle, there is output and for the other cycle, negative half cycle, there is no output across the rectifier. Okay. In half wave rectifier, we can say it conducts current only during the positive half cycle of the input AC signal. Negative cy half cycles are suppressed and current flows only in one direction. If we were to calculate the efficiency or how effective your rectifier is, it can be calculated by the formula eta is equal to DC power output upon AC power input. And ripple factor helps us to find out the purity of the rectifier output. How much AC component and what percent of DC component is present in the rectifier output. So ripple factor is given by RMS value of AC component divided by the average of DC component of the output. Yes, we can calculate the rectifier efficiency by the formula we have already seen DC power output power divided by the AC input power. For that, we have to remember the DC current IDC which is given by IM by pi and IRMS value is given by IM by we can calculate DC power output that is indicated by PDC. 
We know power is equal to I square into RL. So I square DC into RL. So we will substitute the value of I DC by M by pi whole square into RL. Similarly, power AC power, we can calculate by the formula I square RMS into RF plus RL. The RF is the diode resistance and RL is the load resistance. Substituting IRMS is equal to M by 2. And substituting the values of PDC and PAC, we can calculate the rectifier efficiency, which comes out to be 40.6%, which means that only 40.6% of the AC part is converted into DC by using the half-wave rectifier. Ripple factor, as we have seen, it is nothing but measure, measure of the purity of DC output of a rectifier. We know that the output of rectifier contains both DC component and DC component. So, we can define ripple factor as the ratio of RMS value of the AC component to the DC component of the rectifier output. So, IAC by IDC. Using the formula, we can calculate the ripple factor that is uh, gamma is equal to under root of IRMS divided by C whole square minus 1 which comes out to be 1.21 for a half wave rectifier. So a large amount of ripple is present in the output of a half wave rectifier. Ripple factor is very high and we can say a half wave rectifier is a poor converter of AC to DC. The ripple factor can be minimized using a filter circuit. Peak inverse voltage. Again, a very important parameter in if we have to consider the design of a half wave rectifier. So, maximum reverse voltage which the diode can withstand without destroying the junction. So, maximum reverse voltage which your diode can bear that is defined by the peak inverse voltage. And when the diode is reverse biased, it acts like a open circuit and the complete voltage, input voltage, appears across the diode which is reverse bias. So peak inverse voltage is a very important parameter. So diode must be selected based on the peak inverse voltage and the circuit specification. This output frequency of a half wave rectifier is equal to the input frequency. By that we mean that when the input completes one cycle of the segment, the output also will complete one cycle of the segment. So F out, F out is equal to S. Yes, your half wave rectifier has a number of disadvantages. Ripple factor is just 1.21. A lot of ripple is present in the rectifier output. Efficiency is just 40.6% as it conducts current for only one cycle. And for the other cycle, it, it does not operate. The rectifier is in sleep mode. Only it conducts current for one cycle. So, efficiency is just 40.6%. Yes, the half-wave rectifier can be used in mosquito repellent as well as in AM radios as a detector and signal peak detector. Yes, here is a small reflection spot for you to analyze what you have understood. Right? So, a circuit which helps us to convert AC to pulsating DC. Second question is, Output frequency of half wave rectifier is how much? Ripple factor of half wave rectifier is 1.21. We know rectifier efficiency. What is the formula for that? And efficiency for half wave rectifier that you have to remember that is 40.6%. Thank you.